Hello everybody, this is Jamie, aka Zenlar. I'm going to do a Star Citizen video 3.0 PI run. This is the private investigator one. It is on orbiting Daymar within the shipping Kovalex uh, platform. So to get there, press F1 to bring up your Moby Glass. Choose this little notepad with a pen. And it should be in your personal contract manager. Here it is, PI Wanted. Alright. Hit Accept Offer. Thank you for getting in touch with me. My husband recently died aboard the Gundo Kovalex station. But the company is refusing to pay out his insurance claim because they say he was at fault. It's ridiculous. There is no way that's true. I know my husband. Darnell had his problems, but that is all in the past. I want you to go to the Kovalex station and send me evidence that my husband is innocent. But even if you find out that he isn't, you'll still get paid. I know your time is valuable, and really, I just want to know the truth. I attached the insurance claim to get you started. Good luck. And I hope to hear from you soon, one way or another. Alright, so this mission only pays 74 if you do not find him innocent. So there is multiple endings possibility to this. So it's been a while since I've done this one mission, so I might be exploring around the base a little bit more, trying to find everything I'm looking for. But there is a two outcomes. So the stations on the other side, based on what I saw on the Moby Glass map, star map. So I'm going to use the orbital marker to get to the other side of this moon. And let's go to location, zoom in. Can we get there? Oh, still not quite close, close enough. So I need one more jump. I went the wrong way, obviously. Hmm. Alright. Let's see here. I'm gonna just keep going the way I've been going. Eventually I'll get around. Alright, so with this shipping station, it has been damaged in an accident, and the lady that contacted you um, is trying to find out the details because the investigation found that her husband was at fault. As you heard from the conversation, she doesn't believe that's the case, but we're here to verify that. Now with the ship or the space station being destroyed, there is no gravity, so you will need your EAV, and landing has its challenges. The ships don't always stay on pad, so keep that in mind. So I'm trying to get it as level as I can. I will put my landing gear down and attempt a landing.
might be better off just leaving my ship here floating. Let's just do that. I'll try something new. Way to get in. I see my ship is already rotated. Wow. Well, hopefully it will be here when I get back. We'll, uh, we'll just wait and see. All right. So the only way to get in is through this blown-out uh, window here. And you can see there's a few boxes around. You could pick those up and bring them back into your ship and make some money through that. And normally the yellow crates are empty. I just want you to know. So if you are going to grab a crate, make sure you grab some that actually has something in it. Oh, wrong button. Alright, so what we need to do here is we need to find out what's going on. something up there. Uh, nothing down there. There is a door here, but we can't get through it. This door here is open. Let's see if there's anything in here. There is a computer. Hey, babe. I just got the package you sent. Thanks a million for the Moby Mod. It is incredible. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. The crew surprised me with a shindig. <laughs> So what I'm doing right now is I'm just checking all the rooms, make sure there's no other data points to access. I don't believe there are. The ones, oh, the ones that we want are locked behind these doors. So come back through here to the other side. There should be an elevator. time I believe we are going to want to go down and 
Now for the best outcome, you are going to want to get to the server room. So I do not access these consoles until I do that. So let's go, whoop, that's my way. for so here's another door so if we went down most likely we will need to go up <coughs> yes So it doesn't look like there's actually any good crates. I've only seen yellow crates while I'm in here, the empty ones. All right, can't see. All right, so this is the server room that I was referring to. here in that console. Right here. Hey Race, it's Darnell. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? Your shift started three hours ago. I know. Sorry. I did a breakdown of the current power flow for the station and it's looking like I'll need to run a stress test on the whole system. See where the runoff is. Uh, okay. Hey, just be careful. Will do. I'll keep a close eye on it. Sounds good. You sure you're okay? You sound terrible. Yeah. It was Scott's birthday last night, so we were all up a little later than we should have been. All right. Let me know when you're finished running the test. So that's some of the information. What I need is the access keys. Oh, well, that was not going to give it to me.
before. I used to have to go to this room across this way, so let's see if it's there. I see that red container? That is a container of something you could actually carry with you. The same with this black one here. Actually, this is the room I was just in. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. This is an annual employee review. Okay, I lost my mouse. another crate that we could carry. Food, most likely, or some kind of agricultural supplies. Alright, let's see if this is it. Senior Sales Associate, uh, Chief Security Officer, message. Alright. So, I am going to assume that we got, now that we got a message from the security officer, that we have the necessary message to open the other doors. So that's what I'm trying to do. So the one key also trying to avoid is the main data download, which was in one of the first rooms that we came to, and I'll show you that here in a minute. So, there's actually quite a few things of cargo in here that we could have gotten. So this room I'm coming to is the one I'm going back to. Deck 2. The kiosk that I'm avoiding right now is this one. Where is it? Um, it's one of these here. easy to get turned around in this place. It's in this room right here. So that one right there next to that fire hydrant is the one that will actually end the mission. So we don't want to end the mission yet because we haven't found all the evidence. So let's go back to the barracks. Is it up or down? It's up.
it's this one right here. So let's get rid of my gun for now. Let's see if we can move this. Oh, push that away. Try pushing that again. Okay, now with the doors, while you're in EVA, you're going to want to be a little higher, and you're going to want to keep yourself as straight as possible. These doors open really quick, and close behind you even quicker. See? <laughs> and they jack me up. Try it again. Alright. I can't see. I'm flipping all around. So I just want to open and move forward. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Ah, dang it. Sorry, my, my cat's bugging me for attention. Alright, so this time I... So EAV is fun. This time I want to get a little closer here. through the door. Oh. Alright. Alright, so now I'm in this room. Hey, wanted to let you know that I got the Ops guy's passcode last night. Took a whole damn bottle of Esquire to do it. <laughs> Talk about being able to hold your neck up. I set the routine to bypass the monitoring protocols at 1400. The crates should go through, no problem. Just be ready at the drop, alright? By the way, had to change over the security stuff. Codes attached. All right, so that's the evidence you needed. With that evidence, they should be able to find that he is not guilty. So some reason, when the door opens, it spins you. gravity or something for a second and there isn't obviously So no more doors. And you know what? I'm kind of happy about that. I don't want to fight with the doors again. So we want to go back to deck two. We want to go to that last console there. You know, and while we're here, let's grab a few crates. Alright, so now that I got that, let's go back in here. 
Let's go to our mission. It's under accepted. And we want to submit. So now that we have the items, uh, we've completed the mission, we can now leave the area. So the, there should be a door down here in the shipping area. I picked up a crate, so let's see how hard it's going to be to try maneuvering around all this debris. Access the door. <laughs> Head back for the window. My cat is being annoying. still there, which is good news. So I will not be able to get in with this box um, through the side door, so I will have to use the ramp. Now, if you wanted to spend the time going back and forth and back and forth for those boxes, you can, but with the instability of the server right now, I don't recommend it. And when you enter into your ship, be very careful. The height, your height um, should line up with the ship because you can break your legs coming in. It has, it has happened, unless like I lost my box. So I wonder where that box went. When did I lose it? see it flying around. I am not going to go back and get it. see the box so I must have lost it when I opened the door so right now we made I believe 74 but as you continue to play it will give you a reward so see here payment was 74 alpha UEC and just so you guys know I don't know if you don't know the alpha component means that you will not retain any of the information any of the funds that you gather in alpha eventually when the game goes live everyone will be on the same playing field so all your currency you gain during this alpha version will be lost Finishing play. 
Let's jump to Yella. I'm gonna pick up some supplies. like when I see a ship on the other side there. It makes it so much easier to find parking. <laughs> Grimhack is always one of the harder landing locations in my opinion because it's usually so dark. So once your landing gear's down, there she is. So the mission is still running in the background. Wait for a complete landing for powering off. Now, if you are going to exit out the ramp in the back, always make sure that no one gets on your ship or you'll have to claim it. That's kind of how I do it. As I'm jumping off, I am closing my my door. In my opinion, what I have found so far, the shipping Coval XPI mission is one of the best profitable ones. To be honest, I have not played all the missions yet. So it's the most profitable one I have found so far. It's weird. I feel like I'm like 
extra small. Yep. <laughs> That's not good. Let's see if I can get out of this elevator. We got a re reward. So let's see if we can figure out how much that reward was. It does not say here the additional amount. Hmm, I guess I should have taken note of my currency. Well, I can always reference my video. <laughs> or you guys can. So we definitely made additional money. I thought it was around an extra 500, but that could have been back in 2.63. So I, there we go. Someone else got in the elevator and, or called the elevator and it fixed me. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoy the video and learned a little bit about how to do the PI mission. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more, as always, subscribe. Comments are always welcome, and look forward to hearing from you guys. Have a great day.